Welcome to uh, North Keppel Environmental Education Centre, um, lesson on snorkelling. Today we're here at Sloping Island. Sloping Island um, has a shelving reef that comes off. Uh, Sloping Island's National Park. Uh, you'll notice up on the rocks there's a lot of oysters. Um, mainly a staghorn garden out in the deeper water. Um, in the shallower you get a lot more diversity. What we're going to do today is we're going to run out a 20 metre transect tape uh, along the bottom. We'll swim a length of that um, tape to get some video footage of what's along the transect line. What we'll do is we'll run you through some coral watch. Using this card we'll swim down and place it beside the corals. We're looking for the, the darkest and the lightest colour and we will fill out this sheet here to collect a little bit of data. If you wanted more information you can go to www.coralwatch.org and you'll see there's a database of um, data that we've put on from around the Keppels. Uh, yeah, so enjoy the snorkel. So we lay out our transect line 20 metres. Uh, here we are with some video starting at the zero metre mark. We place the quadrat on the left hand side. Uh, in this photo we can see some bleached staghorn coral and what appears to be some bleached boulder coral. Not so much bleached as the staghorn coral. Okay, swimming along now with the GoPro, we're heading towards our 5 metre quadrat. You can see a lot of the bleach corals along the way on the left and right. And here we are at 5 metres. Stressful environmental conditions can cause these coral to expel the algae, changing the coral colour to white and some of these other uh, fluorescent colours that you can see. We're now moving away from our 5 metre marks, swimming along to our 10 metre quadrat. Lots of bleached staghorn coral. And there's our photo. Sometimes corals can recover from this bleaching, but if stressful conditions are severe or they persist for a long time, loss of algae and the nutrients they provide can lead to coral death. Okay, snorkeling along now to the 15 metre quadrat. And there it is there, placed in amongst basically bleached staghorn coral on the left there. After a bleaching event like this one, corals are less able to cope with temperature shifts and diseases, and they have reduced growth rates and reproduction. Anemones and giant clams that appear on this reef can bleach too, as they have the same zooxanthellae as corals. So we're now at the 20 metre mark. Uh, we've placed our last quadrant down on the left hand side. Very much looks like the 15 metre quadrat. Uh, lots of bleach staghorn coral. So we're now going to start talking about Coral Watch. Coral Watch is a not-for-profit citizen science program based out of the University of Queensland. They work with volunteers worldwide to increase understanding of coral reefs, coral bleaching and climate change. This requires students to record the colour and the type of corals during a snorkel. You can then submit the collected data. The results can then be viewed on a world map showing the graph of reef colour and coral type distribution. At North Keppel Island Environmental Education Centre, we typically uh, do what's called a random survey. So you sort of swim like an imaginary line and you choose the closest coral, uh, but you try to keep a variety. The goal is to monitor uh, at least 20 corals per survey. So if you were to divide that amongst you and your snorkel buddy, and then you can actually uh, enter your results and become a part of uh, the citizen science data that's uh, available to the public. The colours on the coral health chart are based on the actual colours bleached and on healthy corals. Each colour square corresponds to the concentration of symbiotic algae living in the coral tissue, which is directly linked to coral health. The lightest and darker scores are recorded to allow for natural colour variation across the coral. So we've got a few examples here that were done on some staghorn coral, uh, there was a sponge coral earlier. As you can see, there's a few there, but those colours aren't looking very great, especially that plate coral there. It's completely bleached. 
and some of those different fluorescent colours that come through when those corals are very stressed. But you just snorkel with your buddy, you duck dive down and you record the information as best as you can uh, with a pencil and the card provided. So you hold the card up to it and you make your best uh, estimate of what code colour it would be. So here's our results here from Sloping Island. Uh, it's got the date, time, the GPS coordinates, uh, how deep it was, you need to record the sea temperature, uh, also weather conditions. But on this card we've got 20 corals, I haven't included all the photos, uh, but you are to record the lightest and the darkest colours and the coral type. And it, it's very, very easy to use and also to submit the data on Coral Watch. These are some other photos of the stress corals that we're in amongst uh, sloping reef. And we included a bit of a panorama uh, just to sort of show you really how stressed that reef is at the moment. It's just a sea of white. Changes of 1 to 2 degrees in the sea temperature can cause all these corals to bleach. Corals bleach after being exposed for approximately 4 weeks to warmer sea temperatures but they can recover if the water temperature returns back to normal within several weeks. Mass bleaching events are related to global warming, but low sea temperatures, sedimentation, UV light, fresh water and pollution can cause bleaching locally. I hope some of this information is helpful for your assessment and uh, thank you for listening.